All right, it's Sunday, and Lou, Miss, and I are going to drop this cross member back out. And I think I've already detailed what I'm going to do, but since this is a different video, I'll say it again. We're going to enlarge these holes on both sides to the correct size. We're going to elongate that hole and that hole. And then we're going to put it back up there and bolt it down securely. Also a little update, that was a fail yesterday, but I only charged it at 40 amps. Today I'm going to try 200 and see what happens. If it works great, if not, I'll go buy another battery as soon as I get up some money. Alright, we've elongated that hole. I lowered that one just a little bit and same thing on the other side, it looked like it needed it. And I enlarged all six holes to nine sixteenths and wallered them out a little bit, just a little. And now I think the thing's ready to go back in there and be bolted down for the last time, which should thrill that one. <laughs> Little Miss wants to make a satisfying video. Go ahead. <laughs> this is the mechanic satisfying video. <laughs> Wait, that one's not working right. It's got a it's gotta go off in a swirl like this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can provide hours of entertainment. <laughs> you know what would be the satisfying video to me? Hmm. When you sweep the floor when you're done. Oh. <laughs> All right, we got the thing back in there. Looks like I got to work on that hole just a little bit more, but that's okay. This bolt went in just fine. And uh, we're going to go ahead and install these so the front end won't fall off, which will be good. Found them. They don't look like they did when you got them for me. Because you've been working. All right, got away, girl. We drilled a new hole there, and the same thing on the other side. You can see it's roughly an inch or so difference from original. Put a bolt in there, and then tighten up all our bolts, and this swap will be done. Well, except for hooking up the brakes, portion valve, and airbags. All you know, stuff. all that important stuff. Probably ball joints. What's I gotta find a sway bar. I'm always of... finding fault with something. Go on. All right, the front end securely bolted in and safely installed. That was a breeze. Once you get down to it, ain't nothing to it. But now I'm fooling with the brakes. I have swiped the master cylinder from the other truck. You can tell because it's orange. And I think I'm going to utilize the proportion valve and brake lines and everything off the other truck. The cross member here is a little bit different. It's sprinkling rain on me. But the proportion valve was there. The brake lines ran to here and here. And of course up to the master cylinder. I think with a little tweaking, I can make it fit on this master This This... Uh, cross members is what I'm trying to say I think so that's what I'm gonna fool with for now and then we got Mrs. Heavy Chevy over there we're observing her in her natural habitat all right right when I was having a good conversation with y'all my primary card filled up well I got another one now what, what have you got there what do you think it is? It looks like my favorite lug wrench to me. <laughs> Shouldn't have been in my scrap pile. Mm. Actually, you can have it. My favorite lug wrench is operated by air or battery. I figure. I guess it's a flower. Yeah. Right you are. Alright, 
I've reached a stopping point. I can't remember what I said last, but I went ahead and drilled holes through the frame to mount my brake hoses. That worked pretty nicely. And I've got the proportion valve kind of mocked up there in position. I was going to reuse the master cylinder because it, our brakes work fine on that truck, but I realized it's leaking out the back. So I'll need to get a new master cylinder and I'll have to make sure that the rod fits in at the same depth as this one. I'm not going to use this one because this is for drum brakes and it doesn't have as large a reservoir for the calipers on the disc brakes. And I'm not going to pin down my exact location on this until I get my brackets in the mail for my steering box. And I think I'm going to get a new steering box too because the one on the other truck's a little wet around the bottom seal and I ain't wanting to do it twice. And I guess that's all I'm going to do today because I'm starting to feel lazy. Plus, the wife says she wants me to go in the house. That's all right. So, I guess I'm going to do what she says, as usual. <laughs> all right. All right, it's Friday evening. I've been spending the week gathering up parts and messing around a little bit. But anyway, I went ahead and got a new master cylinder. And the one I got was for the 78 Chevy truck, but with one inch bore. I noticed the inch and I think it was an inch and an eighth bore one did not have a deep hole right here like the one I had on the 66 was. By the way, the 66 just had a little single pot master cylinder and I put that one on it so I'd have dual reservoir. Didn't get to use it much because now I'm switching it to disc brakes. So, one problem I noticed, this hole was about a quarter inch deeper than the hole in this, but the little rod like this that is on the 66 has a nut and it is adjustable. So that has saved the day there. So I'm going to mock this stuff up and see how the brake lines do. Alright, I went ahead and bench bled the master cylinder and hooked up the brake lines and then I cleaned the ugly orange paint off them. Which I thought was a smart move. I really can't go much further with this front end until I get those plates in to mount my steering box. So, I think I'll go back to work on this rocker panel business. I went ahead and bought this piece and I've got it cut and trimmed and I'm ready to weld it in so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. That will allow me to install the rocker panel. Ain't that cute red paint?